Yeah, I love doing this type of interviews because you can basically just wear whatever you want. I just wear all comfy stuff on the bottom as long as I'm all cool from the waist, stomach to the head up. It's all kind of cool, yeah. Thanks for interviewing me, by the way, guys. Nah, it's so cool. So yeah, 10 years of running my own business, which is absolutely insane for me to kind of think back on where I used to be when I was a kid and everything. And now, yeah, to everything I've got now, which is absolutely like incredible. Um, But it's such a good feeling as well. And I think the best feeling about my success and what I've had today is what I've been able to do for other people, especially my family, in particularly my parents and stuff, I've been able to really give back to them. Um, because you know how I was, you know, one of 10 kids. So I grew up in a family of 12 people. Sorry, my parents included 12. Um, that house. So we just had a room, one main room. Um, we had a little tiny bathroom and then we had another bedroom. So we either slept in the bedroom, some of the kids and the parents slept in the bedroom and the rest of us slept in fold out couches in the main room. And there was the kitchen, living room and all that kind of stuff as well. And I remember one day hearing my mum cry. I think I was 10 years old at the time, just crying like really badly. I'd never seen her so upset before. And I said, mum, what's the matter? And she said, I'm a terrible mum. I'm like, no, you're not a terrible mum at all. Don't say that. And she said, yes, I am. She's like, you guys have never been away on a holiday. And I said, mum, doesn't matter. She said, yes, it does. And I said, mum, do you know what? I said, when I grow up, I'm going to be really successful and I said I'm going to make so much money and I said I'm going to make sure every single day will be a holiday for us so I said it doesn't matter now that we don't get no holiday and then at school I remember trying so hard primary school high school university I just studied 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 I had to be the best all I wanted to do was achieve and I did but I just had that you know, I really wanted to fulfill my promise to my mum that I would become successful and that she could get every single day of her life to be a holiday. So I did that. I went to, um, after uni, I got a job at Crown Casinos and I got an internship there as well. So I learned about like the hotel business and all that kind of stuff. And a few years after that, I eventually opened up my own resort, Smith's Resorts. So we just started off as a small little local business in Victoria. Then we went to a few other states in Australia. Then after that, we went international, which was absolutely the peak of it all. Um, and then from there, it's all, it's all, yeah, how I got to where I am now. I mean, without a doubt, the best feeling, like I said before, was just giving back to my family. Like I was able to buy my parents a home and all my brothers and sisters a home. Um, just knowing that they don't have to worry and have that struggle anymore is been the best, best thing in the world. And then. What also I like to do is, with all my employers and stuff, I like to employ people who are struggling to find work or who find it hard to find work or who've never had a job before. And for people who come from like more tough backgrounds or difficult circumstances, I like to make sure that I give them a job because I know the feeling of having a job is the most best feeling and you take so much pride and, oh, is that new about just having a job and then earning your own money and everything, which which is one of the best feelings in the world. And I, I just promised myself that I'd always give back to other people. And hopefully I have, but especially to my family. So, yeah, 10 years of running this business and it's absolutely changed my life, Smith's Resorts.